Hello class, my name is Maria Alexander and uh, today we'll be talking about safe nursing staff to patient ratios. So, um, safe nursing to staff patient ratios is very important. Uh, and the issue identification is uh, basically to according to a research article on the nurse to patient ratio and how it's related to the patient safety. Exposing critically ill patients to high workload staffing ratios is associated with a substantial reduction in the odds of survival, according to Lee. Uh, additionally, countless research has shown that sufficient nurse to patient ratio facilitates nurses' autonomy, better control over the practice, and improved working communication with other staff members, which can empower nurses' ability to act on behalf of their patients, according to McHugh. Um, the standard of safe nurse to patient ratios was introduced to Democratic Assembly Woman uh, by uh, Mariko Yamada. It requires the State Department of Public Health to adopt its regulations by January 1st. The established staff to patient ratios for health facilities that are operated by State Department of State Hospital, uh, according to California legislative information. The bill uh, will ensure proper adherence to the standard of, st of the safe practice that aims to decrease the patient morbidity and mortality and uh, rates and the quality standards that is being addressed by this project is the safe nursing staff to patient ratios in California state. And here's two, four simple reasons why nurse to patient ratios matter. Quality variance. Uh, first is unsafe practice. According to a research article on safe nurse to patient ratios and lack of nursing staffing concerns, but nursing short about nursing shortages were key factors for over 40% of staff who stated their intentions to leave due to unsafe nurse to patient ratios at their facility. The main themes emerging were too few staff to many patients, according to Bradley. Uh, similarly to the results of the study five, out of seven nurses at the facility where I'm currently working, stated that they were forced to have more patients than the official standard number of patients per nurse at uh, one point or another during their career in various healthcare settings. Expected performance standard. The standard of safe nurse to patient ratios was introduced to adopt regulations by January 1st that established staff to patient uh, uh, ratios for health facilities that are operated by the State Department of State Hospital. All healthcare facilities have to comply with the safe standard in order to be able to provide the quality patient care. Quality variance. Uh, the facility where I'm currently where I'm currently working has increased the percentage of incidences where nurses had to take care of for more patients than was established by the state. Quality variance. And here's the expected performance standard according to California ratios. And um, you can see different type of units and how many um, patients per nurse we're supposed to have. And it is a safe practice as well. Food cause analysis. There are many reasons why the injury experiencing shortage of nursing staff and a disruption in proper nurse to patient ratio. Some of them are well, baby boomers approaching retirement and many of them need health care as they age and poor working condition as well, contributes to it as well. Being a nurse presents a great deal of physical and mental challenges. Additionally, women are not limited to work in certain areas like nursing, like they used to used to back in the days. Um, there are many other reasons why nation experiences a nursing shortage as shown on the picture below. The shortage of nursing staff and ever-growing aging populations are primary causes of disruption in adherence to the standard of patient-to-nurse ratio. The less nurses to take care of the increased number of patients, the more incidences of unsafe practice will be seen in healthcare facilities. Root cause uh, analysis. So we see here nursing shortage. 
which causes unsafe nurse to patient ratios. And uh, nursing shortage uh, is, will be actually 1 million by 2022. And here are some contributing factors, uh, which is, you can, as you see on the graphic over here, senior citizens, it is growing, as I said, baby boomers, uh, and retiring workforce. 1 million retiring uh, uh, in uh, 10 to 15 years. So uh, uh, I research and it uh, seems like the average uh, age for nurses is 50 years old. Uh, here's limited school capacity. 79,000 applicants turned away from being a nurse. It also causes unsafe nurse to patient uh, ratios as well. And uh, the scope of practice will be described by using the PDSA model of quality improvement. And we can see over here in the graphic, act, plan, study, and do. According to stakeholders, specifically nurses themselves, nurses are feared for, their, uh, for either losing their job or losing professional respect if they will not obey and take another, on another patient under their care for just a little uh, until we find another nurse. It especially happens when uh, there's discharges and um, the nursing managers would, or supervisors would tell nurses that they can take care of another additional patient while they're discharging another patient. So according to another stakeholder, specifically nursing management of the facility where I'm currently working, incidences where nurses to patient ratios are being violated are mostly non-existent and happen only in special situations. Stakeholders in the process are where uh, in Cine Medical Center uh, and uh, five uh, various nurses working in ICU, telemetry and medical surgical units. And we uh, can expand more on the scope and analysis of the issue has revealed an extensive and long-term problem associated with the violation of the standards of safe nurse to patient ratio practice. Uh, according to a research study, patients exposed to high work of workload nurse ratio more uh, for more than one day during their ICU stay had lower risk adju uh, adjusted odds of survival to hospital discharge compared to patients never exposed to a high ratio. According to Lee, another research article adds that hospital uh, with better nurse staffing and work, uh, working conditions have better nurse outcomes, less burnout, job dissatisfaction, and tension to leave the job. Uh, conclusively, safe nurse to patient ratios improve work environment for nurses, increase uh, safety for patients as well. Solution. A uh, solution to the problem, according to an article that discussed an issue of, of nursing shortage, shortage um, organization must be creative in meeting the needs of nurses while providing the best and safest care to the patients. Uh, an environment that empowers and motivates nurses is necessary to rejuvenate and sustain the nursing workforce. By letting nurses to feel empowered while taking into consideration high volume and acuity levels, it will lead nurses to feel less burnout and avoid a strong desire to leave the uh, workforce. Uh, thus, there will be less nurses uh, desiring to leave the medical field and the workforce will not decrease in numbers as well. Another interesting solution was offered by forming an innovative partnership to create a pilot undergraduate nursing course to better prepare nurses uh, for surgical settings. The course was offered for, in a condensed semester format and included online activities, simulation experiences, classroom discussion, and clinical experiences in a small group settings. Some student nurses were offered a job after their graduation, uh, thus widening a workforce pool for OR nurses at least. Uh, another research article decided to ask nurses themselves, what are some solutions to decrease the nursing shortage? And um, it was noted that creating career letters was endorsed by most responders, which is 85%, with increased pay endorsed by the few, which was 33%. By increasing the salary, employers will be able to interest a prospective employee to apply to their jobs. So the improvement goal would be 100% adherence to the safe nurse to patient ratios throughout the nation by increasing the number of nursing staff. Solution implementation and a stakeholder participation. Nurses were glad to talk about a new change led by nursing unions. 
uh, to find a solution that would be safe for nurses and patients. They discuss and collaborate on ways to share their information about the rights of each nurse on the unit. Uh, it was noted that nurse supervisors would have harder time with, the, with patient assignments and scheduling, as the change means that nurses would be aware about their rights and would refuse an unlawful uh, assignment. On the other hand, those stakeholders that do not hold the managerial position will ensure a safe practice will be implemented that, that's um, benefiting their patients and the safety of their patients as well. All right. Empower nurses by educating them on the 2144 nurse to patient ratio bill. Nurses should be aware of their rights to practice the quality nursing care without compromising the safety of their patients. Educate nurses about their rights. Support your local unions in an effort to create more career letters and opportunities and higher wages as, wages as well. Next one, uh, solution implementation would be to eliminate the body system. Um, as it violates the law by requiring the nurses to take, uh, to take on each other's patients while they're going for a break. The body system practice puts the, puts the re relieving, relieving nurse over the state's maximum nurse to patient ratio. Next solution implementation would be encourage nurses to report any illegal activities such as pressuring by nurse managers to take on um, additional assignment by a nurse from another unit who were not trained to care for a type of patient that was on the unit. So it is unlawful as well. And next solution implementation would be to support, educate, encourage future nurses to join the nursing field. As it was discussed before that we do have a nursing shortage as it will increase the overall workforce and decrease the nursing shortage. Solution implementation timeline of the solution. So we have verbal education of nurses about their rights when it comes to safety and standards of nurse to patient ratios would be our first step. Getting approval from nurse managers to hang a poster with phone numbers and emails, um, who to contact in case of if noted any unlawful assignment, and nurse education about the dangers of giving the nurses more patients than the state's um, standard ratios. Additionally, the poster will contain information about the dangers of body relief system. And last one, well, getting supplies to make the posters and hang them in the break room or wherever the nurse will be able to see that information. Analysis. Interview as a means to gather and analyze the data. Ask nurses if they had any unlawful assignment where the standards of nurse to patient ratios were violated. Ask nurses if they are aware what are the standards of nurse to patient ratios in the unit. Ask if the nurses are still practicing the body system. Uh, ask nurses if they know where to find information and who to call in case if they were assigned an unlawful assignment. Distribute anonymous survey and questionnaires to find out if nurses feel that they have received an unlawful assignment or feel that, they're, that a practice in the unit does not meet safety criteria for their patients. This way, we'll be able to analyze and sort the answers in the mass quantities in order to determine the percentage of violations per week in, a, in a, any given unit. Mm, so we have, what, what are the next steps? Uh, would be measures which will be taken based on the analysis of the effectiveness of the change. In case of the analysis, we'll reveal that the staff was, is not aware about the safe standard of nurse to patient ratios an education conversation would be how to be able to appropriately educate or answer any questions in case of nurses are not sure what those safety standards are. The nurses will also be advised about uh, introduction of SB 1288 bill, which was designed to stop repeat offender uh, hospitals, protect retaliation against whistleblowers, and introduce substantial fees for those hospitals that participate in unsafe nurse to patient ratios. And next step would be how the solution will be continued or what will happen if the goals are not met. In case if the goals are not or will not be met, hospitals will be held accountable for violating the law and putting their nurses and patients in dangerous and unsafe conditions. And here's my references. Thank you, class.